Hello and welcome to the One Trust release overview video for the 2025 02.1.0 release, also known as the 2025 winter seasonal release, which started rolling out on February 17th, 2025. In this video, I will cover the major features that were released as public preview or general availability in the data and AI governance solution. As always, just a quick reminder that this video reflects OneTrust's current expectations for product capabilities. Be advised that dates and features may be subject to change and should not be relied upon when making purchasing decisions. In this release, the AI model gallery feature in AI governance is now generally available. In data discovery and classification, the data explorer feature and the AWS data source discovery feature are also both now generally available. Starting with our AI governance product, let's take a look at the AI model gallery. The AI model gallery streamlines the registration of models with a live catalog of AI models from open source providers like Hugging Face and a guided step-by-step -step flow for seamless risk evaluation and documentation. The model gallery offers a centralized hub where users can easily browse, search, and add AI models, streamlining the model selection process and enhancing governance. Our model gallery will show a live catalog of Hugging Faces AI models, including those for text, images, and more, allowing users to easily search, compare, and select the best models for their needs. To start using this feature, first create a new AI model in your inventory. OneTrust will automatically load the most downloaded models as well as the top models from key model providers. Here you are able to filter these models by task type, by provider, and sort by date, created, or alphabetical. For example, we can filter by models sourced by Meta or by Google. In this example, we are going to select the BERT-based uncased model. After selecting the model, you can update the details about the model, such as updating the name to meet your needs. Additional metadata is pulled in from the provider, such as description of the model, biases, limitations, and other information. Task type is also a field that is pre-populated by Hugging Face. The next step in the process is to add any relationships to existing inventory items. After reviewing all the information, you create the record. After the record is created, all the information is available, including the reference link to the original model, which you can use to easily get additional information if needed. Now let's look at the features in data discovery and classification. The first feature is the new Data Explorer, which enables you to explore the patterns and correlations in your data to better gain insights on what kinds of sensitive information and risk has been discovered across data sources. In addition, the visualization tool offers various filters, save views, and an option to create custom data policies to identify groups of data assets that should be monitored for compliance violations. Looking at the Data Explorer, we can see the default view which shows a summary of all the data in the data catalog, including sources, terms, classifications, and categories. Scrolling down, the results table is shown listed by data source. In the table, the terms, classifications, and categories are displayed that were found in each data source as well as the count of occurrences of these items in the assets located in the data source. The Quick View provides a more robust list of all the information for a selected data source. There is also a link to the data dictionary which provides additional information. Clicking on the data source, you can now view the individual folders or assets that were contained in the data source. The information contained in the dashboard can also be used to filter the results. For example, if you are interested in where and how many times credit card information appears in a resume, simply click on the credit card line and the resume line to see the results. In this case, there are 142 assets that were classified as a resume that contain credit card information. Scrolling down to the results table, you can now see that it has been updated to reflect the filter settings. Drilling down to the file level, you are able to view the details of that item. From the Data Explorer screen, you are able to create a new data policy based on the configured filter, which you can configure to automatically take some action if an item is found that meets the filter criteria. Another feature of the Data Explorer is the ability to create saved views of filters. If the credit card and resume filter is something that you will continue to watch, simply click on the view selected, click Save As, and provide the name for the new view. Now you can switch back and forth between the default view and any saved view that you've created. The final feature in this video is AWS Data Source Discovery, which is now generally available. Data Source Discovery reduces the time and effort required to find and connect to data sources, enabling users to focus on analysis and decision-making. 
By providing a centralized hub for data sources and data discovery, users can quickly get insights into the data they need without wasting time on manual searches or navigating complex data structures. This new feature empowers organizations to easily find and connect to relevant data sources within our platform. It simplifies the process of sourcing data source details from assessments or Excel spreadsheets, streamlining workflows, and enhancing time to value. To add the AWS Data Source Discovery feature, go to Integrations and click on Athena. Then select Add on the AWS Data Discovery tile. Once the integration is given a name, notification email, login credentials, and a scheduled date for running, it can be created. Testing the integration will start the process and ensure that all the information is entered correctly. Notifications will be provided to let you know the status of the discovery. Looking at the existing data sources in this particular tenant, we can see that there are 1,295 when the scan started. Upon completion of the scan, this number has increased to 1,451. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has been helpful and informative. Please see the additional videos on My One Trust that cover the new features and additional areas of the product. If you are interested in more details about the 2025 02.1.0 release or what's going on with the product, be sure to check out the One Trust Talks Tech podcast.